This lecture is all about Ad Espresso. Ad Espresso is a fantastic Facebook ads tool that lets you get the most bang for your buck out of Facebook ads. You don't need to be a fancy marketing agency to use it. You might even be able to fire your current one or refrain from hiring a new one, all with the help of Ad Espresso. Now, of course, Facebook wants you to spend as much money as possible on their platform. Who could blame them? That's what almost any business wants. But what Ad Espresso is going to do is use automation and data intensive processes to minimize your ad spend while maximizing your return on investment. The company currently has a great 14 day free trial, no credit card required at adespresso.com. So if you don't currently have an account, you can follow along by making a free trial. I'm already logged in and have an account at adespresso.com, so we're going to jump right in to creating your first campaign. Go ahead and connect your Facebook account if you haven't already, and then you'll see this window where you can click this big Create Your First Campaign button. And what this is going to bring us to is a place where we can name our campaign. So let's just say Udemy Campaign. The ad account that you're working with, this is going to default to the Facebook account that you've already integrated with Ad Espresso. We're going to add any tags. Let's just say Udemy and testing. Now it starts getting good. We're going to say exactly what we want to promote and how we want to interoperate with the Facebook ads ecosystem. We can promote our own website a Facebook page, or an app. Probably the most common use is a website, so that's the default. We don't need to click on anything. External website is automatically checked too. There's a whole bunch of different ad types with Facebook. You can do lead generation, which can capture something like someone's name, their phone number, their email, whatever you want to specify, all from within Facebook. You can do messenger ads, local ads, Instagram story, and brand awareness. I think external website is a great thing to start, but since external website is probably the most common, let's do that. Let's scroll down, proceed. This is where the magic begins. We're going to do something called split testing. And what split testing is, is creating slight variations on the same general theme of an advertisement to find out what maximizes your return on investment for your ad spent. If it costs $1,000 to get 150 qualified leads to your business, that's great. But if you can spend only $500 for the same quality of lead, that's obviously better. You can have 50 variations at a time, this will give you a lot of different options to change a word here, a word there. Whatever you think could be the difference between a click, a lead, whatever, whatever you're trying to target from your Facebook ads, you can test with these different variations. So let's do normal. Okay, for our first variation, let's come up with a headline. Great headline here. Then let's do the copy. It has the maximum character count that you can have for your copy, as well as for the headline, the same thing. It would be great if you clicked on this ad. What are the odds that's going to work? I don't know. I wouldn't use that copy for your ads. Here you can upload images. You can upload videos. You can design an ad right from here within Ad Espresso. This pops up Canva, which is a really easy, simple image manipulation tool. Let's close out of that. Here's the link target. This is the landing page that you want to direct people to. This could be yourname.com or .net or whatever you have, or hopefully you're having different landing pages for each offer type. So that doesn't necessarily mean each split tested ad will have a different landing page. But if you're selling cloud storage with one ad and the best free wallpaper with another ad, you're going to hopefully have different URL landing pages for each. 
you can also show how the link is going to be displayed. So what's the caption? What's it going to look like for people that view the ad? A link description. And here, very important, is a call to action. It can look like shop now, book now, learn more, sign up, download, etc. Pick the thing that most matches what you want people to do. If you have a newsletter, consider sign up. If you have an app, use app, install now, download, all of these make sense. These are part of what you can split test. So for your niche, it might be install now works best. It might be download. You'll find out with Ad Espresso when you test this out. Here's a preview. This is going to show you how it looks on different devices. You see the mobile, audience network, Instagram, etc. There's goal tracking. You can incorporate Google Analytics for even greater tracking. Google Analytics has a ton of data that will help you monitor the type and quality of lead you're getting. You can add extra options to your URL, different parameters. If you're doing, for example, UTM parameters, if you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. It's completely optional. You can track conversions with Facebook pixels. So for example, let's say what your real goal is, is newsletter signups, but your ad just tells people to go to your website. Some people will go and sign up for your newsletter. Some people won't. By using goal conversion tracking with Facebook's pixel, you can drill down on the best converting people, which in this case would be actually signing up to your newsletter. Once you've configured this first part to your liking, go ahead and click Proceed. Now we only put in a few little details for one variation. Obviously, if you want to take full advantage of Ad Espresso and you're doing this with a real live campaign, you're going to want to have quite a few variations. You might not need all 50, but certainly you should have more than one. However, right now, we're just going through to see all the cool stuff you can do with the tool. So we're moving on to the audience section. This is the bread and butter of Facebook ads. I like to think of Google as targeting what you are thinking, whereas Facebook is targeting what type of person you are on the internet. So for example, if you're selling cloud storage, if you're using Google ads, it's obvious to just bid on cloud storage. However, those terms can be very expensive. If you use Facebook ads, you can try to maximize your ROI by looking at the type of people that would be most likely to buy cloud storage. Here you can try either a single audience or testing multiple audiences. You can target people by location. You can go really bird's eye view. You can do a whole country. You can do a city. You can do a zip code you can get as localized as you want for the most part. You can target people based on gender. If you have something that statistically appeals much more to women or to men, go ahead and target to either one of them. You can target by age. Let's say you want to target, let's say you only want to target people between 25 and 45 years of age because all of your stats show these are the most likely to convert, you can go ahead and do that right here. Detail targeting lets you drill down even further into your demographics. You can add behaviors, interests, demographics, or categories. You can decide whether someone should see your ad if they match all of the above targeting options you used or just any of the above. So for example, let's say you're an artist who makes music and you really want to target fans of three different other musicians. You can decide any fan of any of those three are good, or you can say if there's someone out there who's a big fan of all three, that is my best person. I only want to target those types of people. You can add custom audiences. And what a custom audience is, is if you already have some engagement, if you already have particular users that have engaged with you, whether on or off of Facebook, and you have their Facebook, you can direct your advertising just to them. Do you have someone who's been in your pipeline for months and hasn't quite pulled the trigger on a sale? You can target an ad directly to that person 
to hopefully move him or her over the edge. You can drill down even further. You can target users who are connected to a particular page, whose friends are connected to a particular page, or conversely, people who are not already connected to a particular page. There's a ton of great options here. When you're done configuring all of this, just hit proceed. Once you've hit proceed, you now see an option to split test these ads. So right here it's suggesting we could split tests based on gender, relationship status, and placement. Just with those three things clicked, that's going to be 50 different ads that it's going to split into. So let's check all three and do proceed again. Finally, this is where the budgeting comes in. You can have a lot or a little. If you just want to do $10 per day total, that is completely fine. If you want to start out right away with $500 per day, go right ahead. This lets you custom tailor your ad spend to your budget needs. If you want to split test slowly but surely with, say, $30 per day, and then once you find that magic ad that really converts, really maximizes your return on investment, you can always change the budget later. There's the start date. Do you want it to start today, tomorrow, three weeks from now, whatever you like. You can have it go on indefinitely until you shut it down yourself, or you can have a predefined end date. With optimization, you can either have Ad Espresso automatically optimize your ads, or you can use rule sets that you've already defined. Here we're saying, Optimize for link clicks and pay for impressions using automatic bid. If you click on that, you can drill down further. You can say, how do you want your budget to be distributed? The default is proportionately based on ad sets audience size. We can further add a spend cap. We can change what we're going to optimize for. If you want to optimize for clicks, that's to your website. That's great, but maybe you only want to optimize for impressions. How many people saw your ad, whether or not they clicked? You can do all of that and more with this optimization tool, and that's going to help drill down and laser target the best ads for what your goals are, for what you're trying to optimize for. Here you can say, what do you want to pay for? Do you just want to pay for impressions? Do you want to pay for link clicks? This choice can save you a ton of money or cost you a ton of money. So experiment with this and find out what is the cheapest way to maximize your goals. Here you can decide to do an automatic bid, a custom bid that you directly pick, a suggested minimum bid, a median bid, and a maximum bid. This is all to help you define within your budget how you want your ads to appear in Facebook, if at all. If a bid isn't enough to appear on Facebook for a particular demographic, it won't appear. If it's only enough to appear for a subset of that demographic, it'll appear for that. This helps you maximize your return on investment while not going over budget. Additionally, you can define rule sets for your ads. Let's go on over to Tools at the top, Optimization Rules. If we do Create New Set, this lets us create new rules for particular ads. We can say, for example, if the given ad has a CPC, that's cost per click, greater than a particular amount, then do this. We can say Pause it. We can say Increase the bid, Decrease the bid. Whatever you want the automation tools to do on your behalf right when it notices a particular result. We can change this from CPC and we can say, okay, do something when a particular ad has a particular amount of clicks, a particular amount of ad spend, return on investment, conversion. All of these things let you predefine in advance what this automation tool is going to do on your behalf. If you want only a certain amount of people to click on your ad and then you want to shut it down, maybe you only have the capacity for so many jobs in your local area, you can define that right here. 
Maybe you only want to run ads if they're getting a certain amount of return on investment, below which it's not worth it to run an ad. You can do that right here. Let's say a particular ad is getting a fantastic return on investment. Maybe you want to add to the spend, double down on your efforts. Let's say a particular ad isn't doing so well, but it's not so poor that you want to pause it. You can decrease the spend. All these amazing things and more can be done programmatically with Ad Espresso. It is a fantastic tool to help streamline and automate your Facebook ad campaigns.